everybody, and welcome to Franklin Regional High School as it's the section lid lifter for 2017-18, the Highlands Golden Rams against the quickly departing Franklin Regional Panthers. On the D, Mike Choma and Chandler Timmons. This is Mike Pavlik greeting you from Franklin Regional. Dean and our perch high above this beautiful gym at Franklin Regional, and uh, this is going to be a tough, tough start for Highlands tonight. Uh, but with Romello Freeman back and at it, has become the leading scorer over two games, and the question to you is, do we put him in the starting lineup? Well, you said a tough start, Mike, and the big question is, do you start Romello Freeman? 20 points against these Allegheny the other day. There's two bodies of thought here, Mike. One is, he was a projected starter at the beginning of the year, broke his arm in football. Does he get his job back when he's healthy? With the importance of the nice game, I have to say yes. I think, you know, it's great to have him coming off the bench, but tonight is a very important section game. Uh, we're on enemy territory. We need everything we can from the get-go. So I'm going to say, yeah, I would start him tonight. See, I'm the other way. I would leave it until you lose. Uh, you have won two games in a row with it going this way. I would leave it. So what's the answer? I don't know because I got their starting lot and forgot to ask Coach ah, Stock well, ours. <laughs> we'll all be surprised here in a few he'll, minutes. He'll be a game-time decision. There Stay tuned. Um, well, we talk about how tough this is going to be. Franklin Regional comes in here tonight undefeated. They're 5-0. and They've had a coaching change. Brad Midgley resigned during the summer. And Steve Scorpion, one of the all-time greats here at Franklin Regional, takes over. Yeah, Mike, and like I said, as far as the schedulers go, tough for us to be here on the road in a hostile environment. But, you know, I told the kids, we are right now known as a team that can take a punch. Butler hit us, we came back. Pine Ridge and hit us, we came back. I said, why don't we be known as a team that delivers the punch tonight? Let's get out early on these guys. Let's make them chase us. And I've seen this team do this, Mike. I know we've got to talk about the summer, but I saw it against all our days. We come out, pressed them, jumped on them 11 to nothing. The shock look in their eyes hung around until the fourth quarter when they made a little push. But by that time, we were ahead by 11, and we posted into the championship. So this team has the ability to do it. It. The question is, will they? Okay, well, as the first section game, and, you, and according to Hoyle, if you look at the preseason predictions, this is probably the toughest game we have on the schedule. Do you like playing it first? No, absolutely not for the simple reason. Romello's just coming back in the form. And, yes, we have three seniors who start, but basically, Mike, they've been untested. The problem is they put the game here. you got to play them when they're scheduled. We have to come out tonight, and like I said, Best effort would be get up on him early, let him chase us. I like it the other way. I like to get it out of the way first, regardless of what happens. It's behind us. If you post it as a win, everybody's chasing you the rest of the season. You play the game to win, Mike. Yeah. We come out to win a section championship. I'd like this later on in the season because I want to win a section. But I'll tell you what, if you're going to win a section, it starts tonight. It starts tonight. All right, high school seniors, you can learn the skills you need to start a career in the high-demand field of health care in less than a year. Pittsburgh is in need of skilled health care workers and career training academy. Academy offers half-day or easing classes to suit your needs. They've been serving the AK Valley for over 35 years, offering programs in medical or dental assisting, medical billing and coding, and our new phlebotomy technician program. Visit us on the web at careerta.edu or stop into our new location at the Hillcrest Plaza in Lower Borough. They're rolling now. New classes start every month, so get in there, give them a call, talk to Carrie, tell them we sent you. Career Trading Academy today, 724-337-1000. Tip-off is coming up. It's Highlands and Franklin Regional. And it's right after this. Golden Rams will be wearing brown, gold, and white. Principal's Day brought in Kim Price, athletic director Charles Zemmer. All right, we are back at Franklin Regional, ready for the starting lineups. I think we have our answer, Mike. If we pan over to our bench, you can see Romello Freeman is going to be the greeter. Right. That means he will not be starting, so you win the first one. Yeah, but just because I got it right doesn't mean I'm right, if you know what I mean. That's All right, well, we will start number four, Christian Tonelli, six foot two senior, comes every four and a half a game. Ryan Cinderella will start at the other guard. Ryan Worth, number 10, six foot senior, having 7.5 per game. Big guy in the middle, number 12, Sean Ersick, 6'6", six, six senior, 12.3 per game. Johnny Christ, the other big guy in the middle, 6'7", sophomore, wears number 20, averages 12 points a game. And point guard.
guard, number 23, Luke Cochran, 6'1", sophomore, coming in, averaging 14.3. And the good news is we'll bring a Romello Freeman at 14.5 off the bench, Mike. you got to love those apples. <laughs> All right, a veteran group here for Franklin Regional, led by number three, Nick Leopold, a 5'10", junior. 6'7", big guy in the middle. Number 12, Aiden Sadowski, a 6'7", senior. He'll match up with Johnny Christ tonight. Senior Number, 24. Number 24, Mike Bartolacki, a 6'4 senior. You know, in Burl, that's Bartolacci. He used to make a heck of a suit. Uh huh. Guess what? It is Bartolacci. He just corrected it. <laughs> Number 30, Nate Leopold, 6'1 senior, his brother of Nick. And they got it really hurt us last year, Mike. Number 33, Hunter Stonecheck, a 6'4 senior. Got to put it, keep an eye on him. He hurt us both home and away. Mm -hmm. Opening tip off. Brought to you by Mason Elite Hoops at the Pittsburgh Mills Mall. Individualized training for third graders all the way up to varsity. You can check them out on the web at MasonEliteHoops.com. So, Chandler, check out the scoreboard over there. Everybody's shot of that. Merry Christmas to everybody over there. Look at that thing. Got the Santa Claus there, and everybody are going to be able to keep the score. This is a Pine Richland-esque, Mike. This is very nice. This is one of my favorite places to go on the road because we get a really good look from up here. You folks get a good look at home, and uh, we're right on top of the action height-wise. Let's get out to a quick start. Well, okay. Let's see what we can do here. Tip in the air, we're underway, and the Rams have it, Signorella. Got it back to Cochran. The Rams move right to left, dressed in their traveling brown uniforms with the gold and white trim. Franklin Regional in the home whites with the blue and gold. Alley tried to swat it away from Cochran, but he got into the paint. Tanelli steps back for three, high off the glass, no good. Rebound pulled down by Aiden Sadowski. Nick okay. Leopold will run the show. He wears three. Uh, coming out man to man. There's Stone Shack. Threw up a wild one. He missed it. Got his own rebound back. Corner. Nate Leopold's threes off the front rim, but it went off of Highlands out of bounds. Talking about last year, Mike, uh, while we're waiting for the game to start, how choppy it was last year here. Remember, nobody hit the side of a bar. Right. There was air ball right there. And, uh, again, might be in for that again here this evening, huh? First year coach Steve Scorpion, the third all-time leading scorer here. Now a runner missed by Bartolacci, and the rebound comes to the Islands Golden Rams. Trying to get off to a quick start. Nice Cochran. pass in the print. Garza got double teamed, though. He turned around, gave it up to Signorella. Outside, Cochran, three ball up, missed it. Rebound, Ursig had it, lost uh -oh. it. And we're going to have a foul from behind. It's going to be on Highlands. I think it's going to be on Johnny Kreiss. The Rams averaging seven three-pointers a game, and you wonder about that on the road. Does that travel? Well, it does because they, they were averaging six and a half three-pointers a game a away, day, yep. and we only had one home game. So they got to be shooting those away from home. Luke Cochran leads the way with 11 of them. Mike Johnny Price got that foul, offensive foul. We can't have that tonight. Well, I thought, uh, I thought Stonecheck walked there on out of bounds. They're not allowed to move there. You're right. My inbound play. Here's Sadowski. Worked it back outside. This is Nick Leopold. They run that Pine Ridge offense, Mike, that high cut. Oh, steal beautifully by Tanelli as he stepped in front of the pass and stole it. Now to Cochran. Rams want to push it. Tried to go inside, and the Rams turned it over again. Stone oh. check from behind and a hand check, and the Rams had two quick fouls here early. Christian Tanelli, he got in foul trouble against East Allegheny, Mike, and again, it's that lower body foul. If you notice, he likes to put that lower body in there. Oh, call it on him every time. That time, he, they got him trying to get Stone check to slow down. Two quick fouls you don't like, and the thing about it here, too, when you come into a game like this, you don't want to get in foul trouble early. You want Stosh to be able to run in and out of there who he wants to, not who he has to. Don't check running a point, Mike. Nice job Mike by Johnny. To throw oh, it oh, came in off a leg, and Sadowski laid it in. Got him right where you want to, Mike. Baseline in the air, no place to go. We couldn't uh, stop. Uh, the Rams were one oh, out again. Run. Four on two. Tanelli missed the jumper. Lead it out to Bartolacci with the lay-in, and it's 4-0. Bartolacci good for two for the Panthers. They like to run this team, Mike. We have to match that intensity. Signorella, 4 nothing. As we mentioned, the early minutes are going to be very critical here tonight. 
Here's Christ driving into the paint. And Got fouled. It yep. bends off. It'll go to the line and shoot a couple at 545. That's the first team foul against the home team. They're going to get Nick Leopold on that one. His first, team first. Mentioned uh, Coach Scorpion over there. He's the all-time leader in three-point baskets here and at UPJ. How about that? Taking over a tough situation, too, Mike. Uh, we always liked uh, Coach Ridgey last year. Last couple years, he was known for his socks, remember? Right. When he played at Canavan, he had these great socks. He had to resign. Still had them. <laughs> he did. He still wore them. I mean, he, was a, he was a good guy. Christ makes one out of two, but uh, his wife passed away over the summer of cancer, and he's got to take care of the kids. And like four kids. Very young, something. right, yeah, and yeah. Uh, very sad situation. And and hopefully someday he'll be back. He has a lot to give to the kids, and he got these guys coached up and ready to go. A great year last year. Leopold's threes off the back rim. Oh, that long rebound came all the way out to the three-point line. No Rams were there. Offensive, Leopold there got it, go. but there's an offensive foul. Tanelli took the charge. He's pleading his case, but uh, Tanelli had the position. That's his second, Mike. That's Nick good Leopold, who yep. pretty much is the point, point guard. He'll have to go to the bench. Coach Scorpion coaching him up over there as he comes off. He's upset, but it was a charge. Into the lineup for the Panthers is Aiden Wiley. They have three Aidens on this team. Uh, the only thing we're missing is Aiden Albert. <laughs> Pressure broken easily by the Golden Rams. Rams they still looking for their advantage. first field goal tonight. Price is going to let a three go. It's off the front rim. Rebound Signorella gets a lot of those. Out to Cochran. His three is short. short. Price saves it. Nice Into Tanelli. Oh, Tanelli got hammered, but they're going to give it to Highlands. No foul on the play, just out of bounds. I thought if anything, Mike, they would give a foul there, but uh, we get the inbound. It's important. Four to one. Franklin Regional leads it. Scoring tough to come by here so far. First section game. Not of the year, though. Armstrong uh, got into section action last night by beating Greensburg Salem at Armstrong, so they're one and oh. Yep, and Greensburg's first loss of the year, Mike. Yeah. Ursic down low. Turn around, spin move, jumper up, around, no good. Rebound tipped. And Ursic got it back. Corner to Cochran. Extra pass. Cochran drives in with a runner. No good. There's a lid on it. Rams yeah. not scoring early. Part of the rebound. Yep. Quickly ahead. Stone check now. Dribbles into the foul line and has to give it back up. This is Aiden Wiley, the junior, in replacing Leopold, who's on the bench with two fouls. Easy layup. Driving. Oh, there's a lid on that one. It's Stone check missed the layup. Finally back. Price. Extra pass. Right side, Not Cochran. Loop. Three on the way. In and out. Dipper. Wow. Bodies on the floor. Tanelli got taken down. He did. It. Yeah. Nothing there. Here come the Panthers back. Charge. Leopold and a blocking oh, foul. Oh, terrible call. And Johnny Christ has two. That's terrible. Doggone it. In position, waiting oh, yes. for him. Receives him right in his chest. Tell me what's wrong with that. Mike. Can't answer that. Well, he's trying to get an answer right now. The referee's trying to explain to him. I wouldn't accept the explanation. Man, talking to Coach Tyler Stachinski over there and Johnny. I give him credit. At least he's trying to explain to him. But there's no explanation. It was not a charge. Terrible call. We're getting uh, West Penn officials this year, Mike, for all of our conference games. A lot of faces we don't recognize. Nate Leopold at the line. A shoot two. And the first one's no good. So Romello Freeman's into the game. Unfortunately, Johnny's got to sit, and he's probably going to be over there next to Dot for quite a while. Yeah, he's not happy, Mike, and he should be. And that hurts. And that's the thing I was most concerned about coming in here. Yep, getting early foul trouble, and that's where we stand. 3.57 to go in the first quarter. And nothing's going. The Rams yep. haven't made a basket. Trailing 5-1 to one now. But it's not as if Franklin Regional is lighting it up from the field either. Here's Cochran against the double team. Ersig in the corner. We saw this movie last year. I didn't like the end. It's the same. This game has the same look. It really does. Cochran drives in. Oh, nice dump down to Ersig. Ersig's fouled. He'll shoot two. We'll go to the line, at shooting 58%, and that's another story that we'll have to talk about, the free throw shooting. 53% as a team. And here's what's worse than that. You want to know what's worse than that? What's that? Our guards are shooting 45% from the line. Yep, that and that is. just can't happen. Yep. Not going to get it done if you want to play at a high level. Sadowski picked up the foul. And there we go. Mike. Mercy misses the first. 
One for three so far, at least. That's it. Get us back to 500. And the Rams were very poor down the stretch in that victory Tuesday. There we are. At East Allegheny, a game that they won 73-63, to but shot, it very, shot the files very poorly coming down the stretch. 5-2. Romello oh, nearly a steal by one, Freeman, yeah. but good job to get up there by Leopold. Now, baseline, and it put back in. Don't check. Got the rebound as Sadowski missed it. 7 2. And that's where you missed Johnny right there, Mike. That extra block got. Uh oh, double Awkward team. Awkward in trouble. Triple team. There, got a foul. And they call a foul. We're going to be here all night. Yeah. That was number two, Aiden Wiley. That's his first, team fourth. Highlands has committed three. Just to key in, Signorella will do it. And another thing we've noticed, Luke Cochran's averaging 14 points a game, but he's gotten off the slow starts in the first quarter also, getting a three going. Signorella for three. In and out, no good. Rebound Ersig, offensive board. Tries to go back with it. Came to Siggs. Threw it to the corner. Tanelli, three ball up, off the rim. The Rams are ice cold. No baskets. Yep. And Frank Reed will sit in a 1 2 2 zone, Mike. They're going to make the beater from the Steal outside. Steal by Tanelli. They battle for it on the floor. Uh -oh. This is not good. Leopold got it. Out to the corner. Three balls drained from the corner by Jake Rosenberg. Well, I said it wasn't good, Mike. We had two Golden Rams on the floor chasing the ball. They had five guys standing up. That's not going to work out. It's 10 to 2. Cochran's long three is off the back rim. Nobody over there. Franklin Regional ball at 219. Well, Mike, unfortunately, one thing I asked from the pregame we're not getting, that quick start. I thought you were, I thought you were going to say a basket. Well, that would be nice, too. We're not getting that, either. Tough place to play, Mike. Especially when you can't make a basket. <laughs> 2-10 left, first quarter, 10-2 Panthers. I guess the good news is it's only eight. It could be a whole lot worse. Here's Nate Leopold out top. Now Rosenberg right side. Dumped it off to Wiley. Tries to go inside to O'Toole. Now a runner put up by Leopold is missed. They battle for it. Freeman tipped it. Rams have it. Maybe a fast break will do the trick. Here's Cochran. And quarter to Myers. Now to Freeman. Nice dump down to Ersig. Ersig there puts we it go. in. Great pass by Freeman. That's 10 to 4. Got the break going out and running that time, Mike. 1 2 2 zone trap now for the Rams. O'Toole at 6 7, Mike. Him and Johnny are uh, teammates in AAU basketball. Nate Leopold. He's a big kid, too. Nick Leopold on the bench with foul trouble. Nate just drives all the way to the basket, lays it up, and drew the foul. Opened up for him. Guess what? We were going to get an offensive foul call. We got overruled from the front court. number 11, Court Myers. Myers picks up his first. Team fouls even four apiece. Nate Leopold shoots two at 118. The guy who called the blocky foul, John, is about to call an offensive foul. And he, <laughs> he got out two at that time. Missed that one. Dean, you talked about their winning their uh, state playoff game against Moon, getting revenge on the WPIL playoffs. That was their first state playoff win since 1997. Yeah, Mike, you look at their season. They were 14 and 12. They were up and down like anybody else, but boy, they came on strong at the uh, right time. Second for Nate Leopold is good. It's 11 for Franklin Regional against Pressure Highlands now. Tries to get it forecourt, and it went right off of Myers foot out of bounds. Lack of concentration there. Turnover Highlands at 110. Good teams want to be pressed. Got to take advantage, and they're not. Here's Wiley forecourt. Leopold right side. Into the paint. Kicked it back out. Three ball on the way. Is off the back rim. It's tipped. And it's Highlands basketball, I think. Yes. Yep. That was a little dangerous to let that one go out, I thought. Two out of three votes. It was... <laughs> That's what I mean. Yeah. You, might, you might see it clearly what happened, but you don't know they're going to call it that way. They were 6-4 and four in section last year, Mike. They didn't win a section. Gateway did. Right. They ended up tied with us. 
and everybody else. We had right. five teams go. Remember? Oh, oh dangerous Hawk pass. Fouled. They get Bartolasi up in the air. That'll be his first. Team foul number five against the Panthers. The Rams will key it in at 42 seconds. Trailing 11 to 4. If they could somehow score a basket here at the end of this quarter, it's a, the, the point being Franklin Regional averages 68 points a game. They have 11. You're yeah. doing your job in that, res in that respect. We knew they played defense. And matter put points on the board. Cochran for three. Out of the corner. It's down. There we go. Shooter's got to shoot, Mike. He's had that look. He finally knocks one down. And you look up, it's only a four-point game, Mike. Let's not abandon ship yet. No. Leopold out top. 23 seconds. They have the ball and the arrow. So they're going to play for one here and try to get the two for 15 seconds. Myers out there, center court. They go eight deep, Mike. Right at the logo. Right, and, and they're going to get a little nickel dimer on Myers yeah. at 8.8. .8. They're going to have to key it in here. Team files even five beefs, and now Corey Myers off the bench with two fouls. Foul against number 11, Corey Myers. Going to bring Daniel Timmons and Signorella back Six in. Get back in. Going to sit Ersig and Myers. Eight seconds. 11-7, Franklin Regional. Now they go backcourt for Leopold. Leopold against Freeman. Goes in. Kicked it out to the corner. There's a three. Jacked up and down. That's Rosenberg off the bench. He hit two of them. And that's the end of the first quarter with the score. Franklin Regional 14 and Highland 7. And that's the difference right there, Mike. The fact that he's got two off the two three-pointers off the bench. 14-7 lead. Many companies give you car insurance quotes. Only Nationwide can back it up with dedicated, licensed professionals and superior claim service. Mel and Jonathan Bichet just want to help relieve some of those stress involved with insuring those teen drivers. That's about the Nationwide Insurance Young Driver Discount. When you compare, no one beats Nationwide's rates for young drivers. Call your hometown Nationwide agents, John and Mel, at 724-224-4300. Let them help you choose the right coverage for the right... That's right for your family. That's every evening and Saturday hours for your means. Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, 9 to 7. Wednesday and Friday, 9 to 6. Saturdays, 9 to 1. Remember, the AK Valley Bichets and Nationwide are on your side. Hey, we lost Dick Enberg uh, over the last couple days. One of the great sports announcers of all time. As a matter of fact, Vince Kelly called him the greatest all-around sports announcer that ever lived, and that's good. Uh, he's in three different Hall of Fame. He's boy. in the Baseball, Football, and Basketball Hall of Fame. Can't beat that. He did UCLA basketball for nine years. They won eight titles, 28 Wimbledons, 10 Super Bowls, nine Rose Bowls, eight Final Fours, multiple World Series. He loved baseball. He called nine no-hitters, two by Tim Lincecum. He did the Angels games in the 60s and 70s. He did the Padres for seven years and retired from that in 2016. Won 13 Emmys and has a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Dick Enberg is one of the greats and one of my favorites, and it saddened me greatly to hear that he passed. He was 82. Was he with Merlin Olsen? He was. Dick Enberg and Merlin Olsen. There's a three out of the corner that's missed. Rebound back to Franklin Reed. That's Reed's. walking, Mike. There were two guys, there were with, two the guys with their hands on the ball. Exactly. And now they're trying to get their two for They got the one, but jumper missed by Sadowski. Cocker at the rebound. Rams down seven, four court. Signorella to Cochran. How long does Johnny sit, Mike? I don't think we see him until the second half. I hope not. Back, Back door, door to Freeman. Beautiful pass by Ersig. He's usually on the receiving end of those. Yep. And your big men are your best when you're good passers. That can help. And Ersig with a nice dish to Freeman, his first basket of the night. He had a big 20 the other night at East Allegheny. 14 I. Now Wiley for three. Off the back rim. Ren Freeman gets out of there. Signorella hit the deck. Tonelli all the way in. Tonelli shot score foul. There we go, Mike. Nice job by Tonelli. Faked the pass. Took it strong to the hoop. Draws the foul. All of a sudden, 14-11. So it's 14-11 all of a sudden, Dean. And again, they're, they're hanging in there. Wiley picks up his second. So a couple guys in foul trouble for each. Yeah, they're two point guards. Each have two fouls. Stone checking to do a little more handling now, you got to figure. This is Tonelli, one for two from the line this year. Oh, man, halfway down, popped out of there. Talk about 50 percenters, huh, Mike? Yeah. Got to make foul shots, guys. Close road section games especially. They call them free throws for a reason. Yeah. 
Here's Stonecheck out top. Now to Leopold. Nate Leopold. Nice, oh, nice backdoor. Back door, and Leopold lays it in. Great pass by Sadowski. 16-11, Franklin Regional. That's your typical give and go there, Mike. Cochran, uh, oh, ooh. good job by Signorella to get up there. And a good. little hand check, nickel dimer out top. Put the Rams in the bonus at 6-18 first half, trailing 16-11. I don't know that that's necessarily a good thing. Marta Lacey picked up the foul, his second. You know, three guys with two fouls. And Nick Leopold brings his two fouls back in. I wonder if they're related to the Barter Laces that used to have the, the suits. Taylor shop in New Kent. I had a couple suits made by and they put your name in. It was real nice. Come on, get in there. There we go. There we go. 23 Parker converts the first of the one and one for the Rams. Luke leads us now with four. More importantly, cuts the lead to four. And as always, we miss a second. <laughs> It's unbelievable. When are we going to make two foul shots back to back? I don't know. Stone check. Now back out top. It's kick to the corner, and that's Sadowski for three, and it's good. Two. I'm sorry. I gave him one too many. It's 18-12. Yeah, I can see if we were bad shooters, Mike, but we're not. Freeman. Now we got to travel on Romello as he gave it up to Tonelli. Fourth hot of his turnover. Is that good news? We've only forced one, though, Mike. That's bad. Six-point Franklin Regional lead. 5.50 to go first half. Stonecheck, four court. Nate Leopold, 30. Stonecheck, 33. Nick Leopold, three. Sean Ursh has had to guard the point guard a lot tonight, Mike. Leopold got bumped. Yeah, there's, a, give there's a whistle on every trip. Yeah, seems to be. And this really looks like exactly the same game that we had in here last year. That game won by Franklin Regional, 53-48. His first. Nate Leopold at the line. He's got four. Make it five. 19-12, a seven-point lead. Eight's been their largest. They can match that here. But they get the rebound. Yeah. Stone check, nice job. Now work it back out. And the three by Leopold is down. Nick Leopold's first basket of the night. And Franklin Regional has their biggest lead, 22-12. Signorella out of the corner. Kicked out of bounds by Radzinski. Ram ball on the out-of-bounds play. Trying to get the ball down to Ursage in a low block. Just joining us, Johnny Christ picked up two quick ones. The second one looked like it was going to be a charge on Franklin Regional. Called on Johnny. He's been on the bench ever since. Cochran, nice dump down to Freeman. Got it to Ersig. He got hammered. There's no call. Rebound Franklin Regional. Lead feet ahead to Radzinski. Radzinski's blocked, blocked by Freeman. Oh, they call my foul. goodness. They said he got him with the body. No way. No, he wasn't near him with the body, was he? Terrible call. Three, I should just get that put on a loop, Mike, and I can hit the button, huh? <laughs> Here's the weather. Radzinski to the line. 4.50 to go. First half, 22-12 Franklin Region. Adam Radzinski, a 6'3 junior. They've gone to nine players so far. 23-12. Seven of those nine have scored. Number 20, Rosenberg, back into the game with the Panthers. Saturday will be at Penn Hills against Greensburg, Central Catholic Internet only. That rattles home, so Radzinski gets 24. two for two. Bartolacy's back in, and it's 24-12. They've doubled up the Rams now. Eight-nothing run for the Panthers. Oh, that was dangerous. When you have a trailer, you're okay to Mike. That's when he knew Cochran's behind him. Signorella now in front of the Franklin Regional bench. Out to Cochran between circles. High posting at Freeman. Down low, Ursig kicked it back out, and what's the call? Three seconds. you got to be looking for that. 
No doubt about it, Mike. That time, Romello passed it, but didn't step out. Uh, Three-second violation, Franklin Regional Ball. As you say, you don't hear that one very often. No, you don't. you got to be looking for it. They you got to go through the Rolodex in your mind yeah. of what it could possibly be before you come up with that one, too. Yeah. It was a good call, though. You see two a year, whether you want yeah. to or not. Here's Leopold to Sadowski. What's the call? Now they're going to have a three-second call there. No. He's going to say he hooked Grab the Islands him. player, yeah. Is going to be on Franklin Regional. That could be Bartolacci third, Mike. It is. That is. Point four, Mike Bartolacci. Graham Ball, Brodzinski back to the game for the Panthers. Bartolacci still saying, what did I do wrong? <laughs> Had a lot of that tonight, huh? We have. Clock going to go to line and shoot one one No, they're going to say it was. Uh, they're going to say player control. Player control, correct. That's the eighth team file. Both teams in the bonus. 4.15 left first half. We've had some free throws tonight. <laughs> See Mike Desort over there with uh, Dan Timmons, Mike. To ask him how Mitch is doing. Freeman tried Ooh. to cut through the double team, and he got fouled on his way to the basket. He'll shoot a couple at 4.09. Kids will be getting back for Christmas break soon. Oh, they got to be home by now. The only thing would be if you're playing sports, it makes it more difficult to, to get get an entire practice and everything. Yep. Yeah, but get an entire home vacation for that. Freeman's first is short. He'll get another. Thirteen minutes back into the game. Nineteen fouls for Frank Rachel, seven for Hines. We still got four minutes to go in the second quarter. This just makes the game so choppy, Mike. One out of two, whether we need it or not. And it's 24-13. And that's everybody makes one out of two, whether yep. we need it or not. 53% and then chop it right down the line. Nate Leopold out at the Franklin Regional logo with Tonelli guarding him. Less than four to go, first half, 24-13 Panthers. Opening section game for both teams. And we won't have another one until after the holidays. Into Big Johnny O'Toole, 6'7", number 13. Leopold gets it back. Right side to Stonecheck. Stonecheck made a nice move around Tonelli, laid it off the glass, missed it. Rebound and a foul wow. by Highlands. Tonelli gets his second. Foul against number four, Tonelli. Not going anywhere for a while, Mike. You got that Snickers bar. <laughs> yeah. Hunter Stonecheck hits the first. All right. Stonecheck's good for one. 25-13. 3.33 to go in the half. Let's see when the next was 3.33. I wrote it down. Let's see if we get 10 seconds. With 33 at the line. How about that? 3.33 to go with 33 at the line. Pat Foley would be so happy about that. Tony would be too. 26-13. First half. Pat Foley does the Blackhawks games with Eddie Olchek. He loves that. Here's Signorella. Out to Cocker. He's thinking about it. Loops it to the corner to Tonelli. Back out to Signorella. We talked about three-pointers earlier. Tonelli lets one go. It's off the rim. Rebound. Knifed out of there by Freeman, but it goes to Franklin Regional. The Rams have hit one. Cochran hit one. That's it. And they average eight, seven. So. Well, we're at the 306, Mike, so we've got a whole 27 seconds in without stoppage. It might be a record. Leopold backcourt. His brother back on the bench with his two fouls. There's no reason for Steve Scorpion to push it here. And again, Johnny has not made an appearance here in the second quarter. Johnny Christ down with two this fouls. This is the third game out of five that he's had two in the first half and has not returned. There's a three put up and missed by Rosenberg. That's the first one he's missed tonight, so he is human. Cochran lead it out to Freeman. Rams with numbers. Freeman corner, Signorella. Stops, pops, three ball, good. Six on the board. Signorella good for three for the Golden Rams. And he is our second leading three-point shooter. With That's his seventh now, 26-16. Still 10, you know? Still in touch, but yeah. it's so low scoring. 
think they, they're going to need to make a run with some defense. And there's a ball knocked out of bounds. Maybe score a couple cheapies on fast breaks. But Only the second turnover by Frank Regional. And that's what makes it hard to score on fast breaks, doesn't it? Yep. When you take care of the ball like that. And that's with their point guard on the bench most of the first yep. half. And Hines, we've only committed five, Mike. And Ellie zips it over to Signorella. He's got the big 6'7 O'Toole on him. That's interesting. Ah. And they steal. They reach right in front. Numbers. Here's Leopold, Ooh. and he got it stuffed by Cochran, but they call the foul. Wow. That is called a position foul, Mike, because he had all ball there. And by that, I mean the referee was out of position. Cochran's first. If you've been putting off getting that much-needed work done around the house, maybe a leaky roof, remodeling your kitchen, bathroom, or basement, let the pros at Beanie Home Renovations have your home looking like new for the new year. Leopold makes the first. Over 100 years of combined experience, Brian E. and his crew at Beanie Home Renovations guarantee that your job will be completed on time, exactly the way you want it. Customer service is their top priority. Give Brian a call today, 724-351-3172 for a free estimate. Or find them on Facebook for money-saving offers. That's Beanie Home Renovations, where the B is always busy. Mike Romello Freeman went off to the bench, and he's hurt. Is he in the tent? He's going to the tent. He's going to see their trainers, or he's going to... And that's not good. Looks like he's holding his hip. Yeah. And come down funny on that. That boy hitting the floor like that is not good. Tanelli. Dump down inside. And Timmons can't get it to go. Stone check the rebound. Now Leopold center circle. 121 to go. 12 point Panther lead. And he gets a hip. Yeah, he's down there with their trainer. That'll buddy. be sore. There's a shot miss. Remember, the Rams got to come right back at 3 o'clock tomorrow. They battle for it. We're going to have a jump ball. This one will go Highlands way at 106. Not been the first half we'd hoped for here, that's for sure. I don't think it's been the first half Steve Scorpions hoped for either. No. But he'll take the 12-point lead. That's exactly the difference. Right. The tool gets up, and uh, he trots back. Highlands gets the ball. 106 to go. Against token pressure now. Here's Cochran. Cochran tried to get around O'Toole, and O'Toole bumped him with that big body in front of him. And Cochran will go to the line and shoot two. Both teams in the double bonus now. 57 seconds left, first half. 28 16, Franklin Region. Can we please make two foul shots? I'm for that. Luke came, you might find this hard to believe. Luke came into the game at uh, 50%. Too good a shooter, Mike. He's got five points. He along, is leading the way with that five. Wow. Don Pacey is in, number 13. Give us a little bit of defensive intensity here for the last minute. And strangely enough, uh, Cochran makes one out of two. Here's Stone Shack. 11-point game. I would end every practice at Christmas. We're not leaving until we make half the foul shots. Over half, I should say. You want to see your presence? Make some foul shots. That's all I want in my stocking is two made free throws. O'Toole is foul. He looked like he shuffled his feet before he got started, Mike. And you get those puppies moving. Look at those feet. He's a big one. Check those feet out, Chandler. He is a big one. Zoom in on those. Those are going to be about size 14. <laughs> you can tell it's him before he turns the corner. You see the feet. And he drains it first. You sound like uh, sound like Raftery there. Organize the puppies. <laughs> we just call those boats. <laughs> He'll get a second. 29-17. Eight guys on a score sheet for Frank and Regional, Mike. Led by Nate Leopold with his seven. And they got the hot anxiety there. They're going one for two. Cochran brings it back. 30 seconds. Arrow belongs to Franklin Regional. Cochran got all the way in. It won't go. Rebound is tipped. Panthers have it. Have a chance for a two for if they want to. Stonecheck's going to take it all the way to the basket and lay it in. He's got seven. Ties Nate Leopold for the team lead. And it's 31-17, their biggest. By two touchdowns. 
I'll knock one down here right before the half. Nine seconds. Cochran's three's on the way. It's off the rim. To the corner it goes. Out of bounds. It's Franklin Regional's ball, and they have time at 2.2. No one's taking a timeout. Isn't that something? We're moving right along here. And get this over with as quickly as possible. In real time, we're 36 minutes in. And now we have a timeout. We do. What is this one about? Got real quiet in here, Mike. It did. They're discussing something at the scorer's table as far as that goes. Or they wanted to add two-tenths of a second to the clock because in the official's mind, he knew two-tenths of a second. That's pretty impressive. Without replay, he could do that. Isn't that good? DJ Ludlow made one from the uh, Franklin Regional Panther in the JV game, Mike. So we've seen it happen once here tonight. They're doable. Yeah. This is Nick Leopold. Does it go from half court and it's short to end the first half? Leopold Regional 31-31. 17. Dean, tell us about Mr. Mills. Yeah, B&J Sports, located at 605 Freeport Road in Toronto Heights. They're going to be open tomorrow, Christmas, well, December 23rd. Actually, this is after Christmas. Sorry about that. Hey, all that money you made at Christmas, <laughs> you got it out of your stocking. Go to B&J Sports. They've been outfitting our local team sports for the last 50 years. That's five decades when it comes to all your sporting good needs. Look no further than B&J Sports. Glenn Mills and his friendly staff provide that personal touch. High school jackets, team uniforms, trophies, and in all kinds of sports equipment. Can't beat the service of B&J Sports. They're open 9 to 5 weekdays, 9 to noon on Saturday. Stop in or give Glenn a call at 724-226-2762. Take that cash up to B&J Sports. Five decades says it all. All right, that'll be it. Halftime, your score. Franklin Regional 31 and Highland 17. We'll take a timeout and be back with stats right after this. All right, we're back at halftime. The Highlands Golden Rams trailing the Franken Regional Panthers 31-17. to um, I want to tell the folks about the Anchor Indy. There, there was a party yesterday. Yeah, I was there last night. Big party. We're going to uh, go tomorrow, too. Yeah, we're going to have our Christmas party there tomorrow. So it's a great place for parties. And again, another season of Golden Ram basketball could be nothing more than meeting at the Anchor and afterwards. Joanne and Dee continue a family tradition started way back in 1953. A great home-cooked meal with I have to do the cooking. We're going to be up there tomorrow. I think I'm going to get the original Anchor Burger. Mike, what will you have? Wings. Seasoned wings, full-style wings, not pieces, 8K Valley style, the best there is. Finger bowl. John might go for the blue plate special, as always, on a blue plate. No reservation needed. Kitchen's open to 11, so there's plenty of time to come to the Anchor after the game. We will be there. Hope you will be, too. Stop over to hello. It's the Anchor in Freeport Road, Natrona Heights. Welcome aboard. You got some numbers for us there? Not good ones, Mike. <laughs> Highlands I scored 14 to 7 in the first quarter, 17 and 10 in the second. That's consistency. We trail 31 to 17 here at the half. We've got to make some foul shots, Mike. I mean, you're on the road. We've missed two, four, six foul shots. That cuts the lead in half right there. Leading scorer is Luke Cochran with five. Sean Ersich had three. Ryan Signorella had three. Johnny Crace one. He's been locked to the bench since the two-minute mark of the first quarter. Christian Tanelli with two. Romello Freeman with three. Second half brought to you by Mason Elite Hoops at the Pittsburgh Mills Mall. Individualized training for third graders all the way up to varsity. You talked to John. I saw before the game. He's yep. over there. He's still uh, he's, he's with us every step of the way, John. is. Uh, of course, you go see Micah there at Mason Elite Hoops. He's trained a lot of guys from Franklin Regional, too. He's, it, doesn't, you know, it seems like every team we go to, yes. he's trained in a lot of guys. And you can see his handiwork right out there on the floor. Or check him out on Twitter, at Mason Elite Hoops. Nate Leopold leads with 7-4. Frank Regional, followed by Hunter Stonecheck with six. Off the bench, and he heard us in the first quarter, Jake Rosenberg has six. Adam Sadusky has four. Mike Bartolacy with two. And that makes it 31-17 as we open the second half. Good news, Johnny Christ on the court. And Romello yeah, Freeman. we need to get him going. Is not even on the bench, Mike. He's been trying to stretch out over there on the side, and it's looking tough. Yeah, it is. Uh, they're stretching him out. Yep. You wonder if it may be cramping? I hope that would be the issue, Mike. It's warm in here. Yep. It really is. It's warm outside today. Uh, temperature in the 50s. Um, Coach Dachinsky Sr. over there stretching him out. So here we go. Franklin Regional with a basketball. 
Now they work it back outside. This is Nick Leopold. His three is down. Not the way to start the third quarter, Mike. No, not at all. And here comes the press. 34-17. Saw a couple shoulders slump there, Mike. Here's Cochran. Here's Cochran. You guys found some friends there. They had a seen him in a while. They're Broderick's back. You got to stop and say hello to Broderick at Christmas time. Right, exactly. Here's baseline. Oh, and Christ had it come off his hands, and it sends a break the other way. Leading ahead of the pack and missing the lay-in was Sadowski. Like, yeah, he can't come in for my. And now military bull guys, you're standing in my way. I can't see a thing. Hey, buddy. Goodness gracious. Well, we're out in the country, Mike. They don't know about TV very much out here. It's a new craze. It'll get to you eventually. But he has some kind of solar device in his hand. That's great. And they can all buy and sell us, too. That's your, well, <laughs> maybe not you. Here's here's yeah. Cochran. <laughs> Let's not push it. <laughs> Corner to sink <laughs> Out to Cochran again. Drives into the paint with their little runner up around the good. They can't buy a basket. And we have, and strangely, you'll find we have a foul. Let's see what this is. First one of the second half. It took a minute and 17 seconds. That's quite a long as we played the whole night without a whistle. And that's Aiden Sadowski's third. Wow. They have two teams of guys with three fouls, Bartolese and Sadusky. Cochran jacked a three out of a corner and missed it. Now Leopold back to his brother. Up off the rim, no good. Rebound Signorella. Bust through a double team and got it to Tonelli. Tonelli took it all the way to the basket. Nice, nice dump down. The shot was blocked. Ursig had it, lost it. Back to Ursig. Lays it up, missed it, but it'll go to the line and make one out of two. <laughs> Yeah, looks that. <laughs> Come on, which Sean, one's make, it gonna be? Make a liar out of me. And that is Sadowski's fourth, and Hunter and Coach uh, Scorpion got caught there. Trying to get him out. He got caught. Yep. And that that happens to the best of us, Coach. <laughs> All right, come on. Break this streak, Sean. That's four for Ursic. Is that what you have, Dean? Yes, sir. Okay. Well, he has to make this one because I accidentally had two extra points in his column. Well, let's go. Then. So I think this is going in, and we're going to make two out of two for the first time tonight. Or not. Oh, boy. Rebound, Stone Chef. It's almost like it's catching. It's right? a plague. <laughs> Leopold. Drives into the paint, puts it up, and gets fouled at 6.04. 34-18, Franklin Regional leads it. This time it's Luke Cochran. Oh, he gets his second. Process of elimination tells us that the other game tonight is Gateway at Kiski. Armstrong beat Greensburg-Salem 55-41 last night. Kiski continues their struggles, Mike. 0 for 5, 0 and 5. Giving up 63 a game, only scoring 42. That's eight points for Leopold now. Tough year for Joey Touchdown. And it's in. He gets two out of two, 36-18. He leads all scores with nine. They've doubled him up. Tanelli, and they're going to get him for a travel. I don't buy that, Mike. Traveling the call against the Rams. Kept his feet. Pump fake. By the way, two Franklin Regional credit, Mike. Only two turnovers in the first half. That's pretty darn good. I mean, we've only committed seven ourselves. Yeah, it's been choppy the other way. It's just a lot of fouls. Now we got a hand shot. Now that is an actual foul. He wrote him down there, and that Nick, is a foul. Nick Leopold got. I don't want everybody to think I just pick on a referee's period. That was a good call. That's three on Christian. Carmelo's coming back in the lineup, but not very gingerly, Mike. Everybody's getting files for Christmas. <laughs> you got a big wrap on that left leg. There's O'Toole, the big fella. Made some room. Around Ursa can put it in. 38-18. Now 
Oh, Christ had it. Oh, he got it back. Saved it, but it came, unfortunately, right to Bartolacci, and he lost it out of bounds. So now the turnover's mount. Back to back turnovers. One, two, two token pressure. This is Cochran now. Now to Christ. Nice dump down. Ersig, boy, a lot of contact there, but Johnny with the follow up with his first basket Number third point, 38 20. Ersig did a nice job of drawing a defense to him, and Johnny cleaned it up. Mike, sometimes you have to take that shot. Oh, they're going to call a carry. I thought it might be a travel, but it's Bartolacci carrying it and turning it over. 18 point lead. But, you know, sometimes you got to take that shot just to clear the rebounds. Hey, remember, come join us next week, Thursday night and Friday night at home, Highlands Holiday Tournament. Highlands will play Burl at 7.30. Blackhawk will play Knock at 6 o'clock on Thursday night. And we'll do it again on Friday. So that would be tomorrow and the next day. Not if you're watching on YouTube. There's a three by Cochran, and it's good. If you're watching on Comcast. Cochran in with eight, two from outside the arc. It's 38-23. I was trying to explain to the kids going out to Las Vegas about time zones, Mike. And I said, in Las Vegas, there are three times, Eastern, Western, and Zulu. I said, we're on Zulu time. I said, look for the clocks in the casino. Yeah, there aren't any. Leopold's three, in and out, rebound Christ. That is a broad tradition they've upheld. They Freeman. Want, they don't want you to know what time it is. Extra pass. Cochran again. Three ball is in and out. And out. Another look. Great pass to John. Hit by Christ. Number 20, Johnny Christ. Johnny now a quick five, Mike. And it's 38-25. Island's on a 7-0 run. Hey, we're down 20. Not dead yet. Leopold. Pitter patter, corner, brother Leopold missing, rebound, uh, out of bounds, goes to Franco to get that one, Mike. Oh, God. And Romella just can't go, Mike. Rich Falter would love this. There's not been a timeout call. There we go. There you Steve go. Scorpion in. In time for us to get our commercial obligations in. That brings us to the wireless zone, the largest independent Verizon wireless franchise. You talk about that money you got at Christmas, here's where you can put it to work. Absolutely. Smartphones, devices, tablets, you name it, they got it. And winning customer service. Stop in today, see what makes Verizon World's largest and most reliable network. Wireless zone has 12 area locations, including six in the AK Valley. Ram fans are wired at zone headquarters in Toronto Heights at Walmart Plaza or Pittsburgh Mills next to J.C. Penney's across from Victoria's Secret. Frank and regional fans, you have one located four miles up the road, John tells me. There you go. You can reach one in the Toronto Heights location at 724-224-4590 and Pittsburgh Mills at 724-275-1154 or you can find them on the internet by contacting wirelesszone.com. Well, they found Johnny O'Toole right out of the timeout. A set play, huh, Mike? Yes, sir. I think that's the one he wanted. And it's 40 to 25. Yeah, that's stolen. They had a steal. And Two. a lay-in by Nick Leopold. Too easy, Mike. You cannot throw that lazy cross-court pass against a good team. you got to have mustard on it, and they almost did it again. And now Tonelli's going to get caught with the foul backcourt. you got to have some mustard on yep. it. That'll be his fourth. Oh, no, they got it the other way, Mike. They gave it on Leopold. Okay. Well, that'll be his. That's even better. That's his first. That's on Nate, not on Nick. His first foul, Three twenty left, third quarter, 42-25, Franklin Regional. Looping feed over to Tonelli. Dribbles his way through, back to Signorella. Now Cochran reverses it. They go corner. Tonelli's jumper is in and out and in again. That's a three. There you go. His first one, and it's 42-28. Three minutes to go here in the third quarter. He'll there, steal we'll steal by one. Cochran. Three on one. Cochran, Tonelli lays and gets fouled. Nick Leopold pleading his case, but it was a foul. Nice steal that time by the Golden Rams. That's a third on Nick Leopold. 
Tonelli <laughs> drains it. He now has a half dozen. 42-29, that's over his average. Coming in a four and a half a game. Second one is in there. Mike, maybe we should just not bring this subject up. I'm not going to talk, talk about, about it ever again. Yep. We'll stop. And they made two We're in gonna, a row. We have a moratorium till after Christmas. How's that? There you go. Here's Stone check out top. 42-30. It's a 12-point Panther lead. Stone check. Oh, nice, nice drive. Draw. Put it inside. And Rosenberg got fun. No, that's not Rosenberg. That's Bartolese got fouled on his way in. Going to be Johnny third. He got his money's worth that time. Unlike the uh, char the phantom charge he took in the uh, first quarter, that he got his money's worth. So Bartolese will step to the line as the parade continues. The Christmas parade tonight has been to the charity. There store. you go. Yep. He's got three. And it's 43-30. Johnny Christ, come on, Mike. Now they're trying to put him back in. And nice job by the Timmons over there to get that one. So they make one out of two. Here's Tonelli. Plays catch with Cochran out top. Cochran tries to put it on the floor against Bartolese. He did leave him in the dust. Loops it to Tanilli in the corner. He drives in. Kicked it back out. Cochran's open. Three is up. Three yep. is down. Luke's got an 11. All of a sudden, Mike, 10-point game. Three from outside the arc, and it's 43-33. We've Ram been here a couple times. Rams have cut 10 off the lead. They were down 20. Less than two to go, third quarter. And Stosh wants him to come out and get the ball. There you go. Better match up there, Stone Check with Ursage. Now they're switching out top with Signorella, and Stone Check took Signorella to the basket and laid it in. When they switched, Stone Check realized he had a height advantage, took, took advantage of it right to the basket. Now to Ursic, corner Signorella. With the fake, drives in, goes back to Ursic, left-handed up and in. Ursic in with six, and it's 45-35. Oh, good job by Ursic to stop the ball there, but Stonecheck alertly worked it over to Nate Leopold. This is Nick. The brothers play catch out top. Grace Snelly, God bless her. She's a nurse. She's over there trying to work on her melon now, Mike. Now back outside. That's Bartolese, and he drains the three. Number 24 by Bartolese. He's got six, and it's back to 13. Signorella thought about it. Now gets it back. Oh, goes baseline. Now to Ursic, lays it in, and draws the foul. Oh, great pass. Good penetration by Signorella. The good pass to Ursic with the finish. He now has 13, Mike. Eight here in the quarter. End of the game for the Golden Rams, number 11, Corey Myers, number 20, Johnny Christ. Myers and Christ come in. 48-37, 34 seconds left of the quarter. And Ursa completes the three-point play, and all of a sudden he has nine, and it's 48-38 again. Rams extend the pressure. Four-court Leopold, now to his brother Nick. Stone check. Highlands has the arrow, 17 seconds. Leopold again, double-teamed in front of his bench, and they're going to call Johnny call on foul. that. Foul. You got to be kidding me. Yep. It's on Cochran, his, his third. third yeah. Spread him out. 13 seconds now. Five team fouls against Franklin Regional, four against Highlands. Leopold 
Six seconds. Drives in. Five. Throws up a wild one. It won't go. O'Toole tipped it. Saved by Highlands. What are they going to say? Signorella stepped on the line. He could have let it go out. 1.3. they got to hurry up and get it on the glass. The Highlands can stop them here and take the 10-point lead. We'll cut four off this quarter. And we'll get the ball to start the fourth. There you off go. Of nice hands. It's going to go backcourt, and that's the end of the third quarter with the score. Franklin Regional 48 and Highlands 38. Planet Fitness at the Heights Plaza in Natrona Heights is your home of the judgment-free zone. Planet Fitness provides a unique environment where everyone, and we mean everyone, is free to work out in a non-intimidating environment. They have tons of equipment, cardio, strength training, free weights. And here's an interesting uh, point, too. 16-year-olds can have their own membership. Teens 13 to 15 can join when they're accompanied by an adult 18 or older each time they visit. So it's a good time to get started. Memberships are available for as low as $10 a month, so stop by the Planet Fitness in the Heights Plaza today for details. Mike, this part of the game we normally do trivia, but I want to take a minute to uh, recognize uh, we lost a valuable member of the Highlands community, not only in basketball, but in baseball this week. Uh, tragic passing of 39-year-old Tom Calendar. Uh, he's the father of one of the kids I work with, uh, Tommy Calendar. Tommy helps me out every Thursday night when we uh, do the football uniforms. He was our ball boy in football. He leaves me on a wife and five kids, Mike, 39 years old. He's worked with our younger kids, uh, second to sixth grade. And, you know, we saw out here earlier this evening, uh, Frank Rachel has a little bitty ball. Uh, and that's why these kids are so fundamentally signed. Tom was the kind of guy who helped our program out. And, you know, teams don't win, programs win. And, he gave a lot of time, and again, with five kids, uh, just any time he gave to us was valued, and uh, he's going to be missed by the Hyden's family. Again, our condolences go out to his family here, too. Absolutely. Way, way too young. So the Rams start the fourth quarter with the ball down 10. Let's see if they can make a little push here. Here's Tanilli in the paint. Kicked it out. Signorella's open. Three is in and out. And oh, my goodness. Took a second peek. Wouldn't go. And Stonecheck has it. Those are some friendly rims. Now O'Toole. Got a four court. They got a two on one. Bartolese. Oh, beautiful. To Bartolese for two. Eight points for Bartolese, and it's 50 to 38. Cocker takes it all the way in. Ooh, and got ooh, ooh. He and hit his head hard. hard. Oh, he hit it hard on the floor. Oh, man. He got fouled very hard by Stonecheck. Yeah, he's a man. Luke wants to walk it off here. Oh, wow, that was tough to watch. That was a hard, hard foul. Foul against number 33, Stonecheck. Just when you hear his head hit like that. Yeah, like. seriously. Now the referees are going to have to be careful. Keep an eye on things. I so, didn't see intent there. I saw result. What did you think? I thought it was a little much. Cochran, it's the first. Cochran converts the first of two free throws. I got him with 12. Mm-hmm. Seven of them here in the second half. Coach Stachinski in a, yeah, a long conversation with the official at the Highlands bench, and Chandler right on that. Yeah, Made the second. The first, both free throws, the 50 to 40. 50, Highlands 40. Stone check four court against the double team. Rams keep cutting it to 10, but that's all the closer they can get. They haven't had it in a single figures in quite a while. Franklin Regionals led the entire way. Islands has never had a lead. We got a charging foul there as Cochran it. took the charge. And that's on Leopold. His second. And Luke really enjoyed that as he clapped after that happened. Nate Leopold. Correction, Nate Leopold. Nate Leopold second. See if Highlands get on our double figures here, Mike. Seven minutes, lots of time to go here in the fourth. The thing you worry about if you're Steve Scorpion is they just haven't put Highlands away either. No. And they've had plenty of opportunities to do it. They've never felt in danger, but you're right. They haven't put them away. Tonelli. I do not like the way I see Romello Freeman sitting on the bench, Mike. He's not putting any weight on the leg at Price all. Price stops, pops, back rim, no good. Rebound, boy, they came over Tonelli's back. There was no call. Rebound, Franklin Regional. The two ready to check in over at the Panthers bench. 
Yeah, get away with a one-handed pass there, Mike. Can't let him do that either. The Leopold brothers, I'm sure they've done that once or twice. This is Nick in a double team. Trouble. And they're going to call a travel. Good defense by Highlands Price and Signorella. Saw a chance of trap, took advantage, and again, Highlands with another chance to cut it under Bruce double figure. And Wiley in the game for Franklin Regional. Jake Rosenberg and Aiden Wiley in the Franklin Regional lineup. Islands with the ball down 10. Here's Cochran. Steps back. His three is up. It's wide right. Rebound Leopold. That's Nate. That would have been a biggie, Mike. Now to Wiley for court. Back to Nate Leopold between circles. They want to be patient here with a 10-point lead. Wiley steps back. Now Stonecheck comes out together. Six minutes to go. Fourth quarter. 50-40 to 40, Franklin Regional. Stone check. Got loose on the baseline and draws the foul. That's called creating your own space there, Mike. And there was nowhere to go, and all of a sudden, jumped up, and let's see if they're going to get that foul to. Could have been a couple different guys. I'm thinking Tonelli. Let's see what they do here. That's been placed up on the board yet. Now they're discussing who that's yeah, why. Yeah, I think that's why they don't know, do they? Yeah. <laughs> Spin the bottle. Take your pick. You betcha. Big game hunting tonight, Mike. Pine, Rich, and at Butler. Who you got? Ah, there? there we go. I like Butler. At Butler, I'm going with Butler with this one, trying to get off the schneid after losing to them three times last year, was it? Looks like they want Four to look times? at the video replay here, Mike. Yeah, that must be. That's how they got those two tenths of a second in the first half. Well, Kristoffik is out of the lineup for uh, Pine Richardson. He's lost for the year, Mike. He has thumb surgery. But Phil Dracovic is back, and I'm surprised that uh, he's going to play basketball with his commitment to Notre Dame, but he's out there. They lost to Mount Lebanon the other day, so uh, they come in with one loss. Butler's still undefeated. So I don't know what that was all about at the table. Tonelli picks up his fourth. For the Rams. But, uh, Coach Scorpion went over and shook hands with Steve Meter. I'm sure he said something funny enough that made it uh, <laughs> happen over there. Steve always entertaining at the table. No question. Stone check, unable to complete the three-point play. Rams with the ball down 12. Still time, Mike. Huh? There is. They're going to call a travel on six. They are. Sure. Launched the drive. Had a Rams. clear path. Number 12, Aiden Sadowski. The only thing I can think of, he's not putting the ball down quick enough. Right. You're a lot of ball fake. Aiden Sadowski back in with four fouls. He's been on the bench since the first half. Or very early third quarter, anyway. Boy, Oop, nice down the middle. move by Leopold. Took it right down the lane and laid it in. It's back to 14. Cochran used that off arm. Missed the jumper. Rebound Nick Leopold. Now stone check. Wide open Rosenberg. He hits it. He is dead eye from that corner. Rosenberg, three off the bench. Three times three is nine. Highlands needs a timeout. They will just bore you to death, Mike. That's exactly what they did. It's almost like a trance. Gives me a chance talking about Joe Lacino and his son Joseph. Proudly welcome to Lacino Insurance Financial Group. Serving the AK Valley for decades, Lacino is a broad-based financial advisory firm with a wide range of opportunities for both you, your business, and your family. And, Mike, with all these tax changes coming, you're going to want to get in and sit down with uh, Joe and Joe. The economy is supposed to heat up now. Everybody's uh, getting bonuses, at and $1,000. Comcast? Comcast. I guess ours will be in the mail, right? I'm waiting for it. Yeah. And uh, my breath is turning. Uh, uh, I turn blue here waiting. But are you going to have an extra cash on your hands? Let Joe and Joe put it to work for you. Got advice a long time ago, Mike. I was working two jobs, and Bob Sog's father, Pap, he's called Pap. Mm -hmm. Pap says, what's your money doing? I said, well, I have in the bank. He goes, you're working two jobs. Your money's sitting on his butt. He goes, put it to work for you. So go talk to Joe and Joe. Let them put it to work for you. They're located at 2318 Freeport Road next to Dono Connection. Call them at 724-224-8908 or 724-905-7583. Why wait? Make it a New Year's resolution. Let Lakina Financial and Insurance Services put them to work for you today. 5 11 to go, 57 40, Franklin Regional. They've gone on a 7 0 run to stretch this out to a 17 point lead. They've led by as many as 20 here in the second half. 
By the way, my money's been working ever since, and I quit all his jobs. <laughs> oh, a battle. Jump ball. And that was Tanelli and Wiley. And believe me, Christian Tanelli will always be the first guy on the floor. And the Frank Regional bench is up and clapping. The Highlands bench should have been up and clapping too, frankly. Yes, right. Effort on both teams. That's what you want to see. Sure. Elbows and kneecaps, is that what it is? Yeah, that's, that's all it. you want to see when that ball's on the floor. Here's Leopold backcourt, 4.50 to go. Wiley now, center circle. Plays catch with Leopold. A Rosenberg, look out, bang. Four three-pointers off the bench. He's got 12, and it's 60 to 40. He must be one of John's clients, John Mason. That kid has a missed jet. Goodness. Tanelli's three. He's and fouled, and what? it doesn't go, but he'll shoot three of them. At 428. Leopold got him, I believe. That is uh, Nate, and that will be uh, his. He's going to shoot three? He will shoot three. Nate Leopold's third? Yes. The winner is upon us, so why not stop into Highland Tire in their newest location, Highland Integrity Alignment, and see why they've been voted the best place to buy tires in the AK Valley for 25 consecutive years. This lull between uh, Christmas and New Year's is a good time to get stuff like this done. You can get in there. Get you're the, off, they're not. You're off, they're not. <laughs> get, the, get the tires taken care of. Um, oil change, of course, any of those great things that they do. If you don't see the tires that you like on site, they'll get it for you. Family op owned and operated. Since 1961, you can visit HighlandTire.com or call them in Trenum, 724-224-9222. Natrona Heights, 724-224-7900. Or Highland Integrity Alignment, 724-224-5900. Highland Tire Service Integrity Price. We deliver one out of three from the line. Unfortunately. And Sadowski was open and missed the bunny, but got fouled for his trouble. And what's new there? Corey Myers picks up the foul. That's, that's three on Corey. He's yeah, he got, the, he got his Howell. money's worth tonight. Yes. He usually scores more than fouls, and it's the other way tonight for him. Corey coming in averaging three points a game. Hadn't seen much Aiden Sadowski tonight. That's only his fifth point, but he was saddled with four fouls, so he spent a lot of tonight on the bench. 4.16 to go. It's back to 20. Quietly. Here's the second. Too strong. Rebound Highlands. That's Urson. Out to Cocker. There's the old saying, you never heard the body hit the floor, am I? Ersig, loose, no. Tip no good, back out. Tanelli had it, lost it. Franklin Regional tips it out of bounds. Rosenberg got a piece of it. Highlands will inbound it at 4.03. So a quick turnaround tomorrow, and you got find out what Romello Freeman's status is. And we certainly like what we see with him more than we do without him, and it's not going to help us if he's not able to go. They're having a tough time, Greensburg Central Catholic, Mike. They were 25-2 and two last year. And have they lot, won a game yet? A lot of grads. They have won a couple. Uh, they beat Springdale last week, a section game, and they have a section game against Sarah Catholic tonight. There's uh, Ersig. Oh, look at that thing he almost made it there. stay. Yeah. And Leopold the rebound, but they lost a lot Off of seniors of and yep. their best player transferred to Kiski Prep, but he's going to play his sophomore year over again, so he's going to get a five-year uh, high school career. So you got to love that. Uh -huh. And they also lost their coach. Cochran picks up his fourth. So we'll see them tomorrow. Jim Nestor's taking over there. This is Sadowski. And he hits the first. He's got six. Johnny Chrysler make five points, only one in the first quarter because then he played part of the first quarter. That's a big story here tonight. Six, seven, sophomore. <laughs> got to become more consistent. Foul problems are his biggest problem. He stays out of foul trouble. He is a difference maker. Just had a long talk with Stosh before he was coming back in. Nice dump down by Cochran, but they block Ersig from behind. Lead it ahead, and Rosenberg makes a two. He's got 14. Yeah, he didn't even score, Mike. Off the bench. Can you believe that, huh? 65-41. 
As I said before the pregame, I didn't like where this game was put in the schedule. They didn't consult me, put it that way. Well, now it's out of the way. Here's Cochran. It's down. He's got 15. He leads the Highland scoring. Ten, ten of them in the second half. 65-43. Uh, driving all the way through is Nate Leopold. And Coach Stoss going to take a timeout. It's a good timeout to take. You know why, Mike? Nobody stopped the basketball. Right. Number one rule defense stopped the ball. And, you know, I don't care if you're down 22, 24, whatever. you got to stop the basketball. And, again, I see you have a chance to make a teaching point of that. I see Courtney over at the door. It's perfectly okay for her to start it. Um, 2.56 to go. Now, interesting tomorrow with the Greensburg Central Catholic game is the team that we've just had previously that many of them have graduated. You, you wonder how interested our guys are going to be for that game because the team that we just got done having here oftentimes weren't very interested in those games at all. Right. At all. And it's a quick turnaround. It's less than 24 hours. It in, is. In real time. So it'll be interesting. Hey, by the way, congratulations to our Highlands girls. Uh, they got off to Schneid yesterday, uh, led by Renee Sabella's 22 points. She's a player. Beat Valley 53-38 for their first win of the year. Not good for them. Congratulations. And also, congratulations to your Borough Wrestling Team. You know what they did, Mike? They went, They win something else? Their 100th consecutive. We're just talking about them today, match. yeah. Can you believe that? Christ head fake. Drives in. Tries to dump it down, but... Signorella zigged when Johnny thought he was going to zag. It's a turnover. Now, what do they call a game in wrestling? It's a match. It's a match. It's, it's not a grapple. No, it's a grapple. As you can see, I'm really up on a wrestling turn. <laughs> the wrestling. There are no ropes. Double team, but Leopold got out of there. Over to Sadowski. Jumper in and out and in again. Wow. All of a sudden, those bass has gotten real soft on this end. 69 43. Ooh, Corey Myers. On three by Myers. His first of the night. His fifth of the year, by the way. He's third on the team in three pointers with not a lot of playing time. 69 46 for less than two. Leopold. Almost did it again. Look, right down Broadway. Got it back got and it got up. fouled by Timmons. I want to know, though, Mike and Burrow, how do they win 100 matches in a row? I mean, well, how do they win, what is it, 10, 11 WPILs in a row? It's, it's a factory. Well, it's families. We were talking. We were just talking mm -hmm. about this today. It's families. That It's just families of wrestlers that continue to have more wrestlers. And, and now what's happening is families of wrestlers are marrying other families that are wrestlers. And now they're going to have kids of wrestlers. Oh, yeah. So that factory may continue to have a... It's just going to continue to perpetuate itself. And you talk about programs. They start them real young over there. They too, do. Right? They, they start them in elementary school. And uh, it is, it's amazing. As a matter of fact, my niece was telling me today about seven-year-olds. Seven, seven they were... So clear the bench, Mike. Oh, good. Leopold will get another. 153 to go. 70 to 46. Back rim, but Leopold chased it down. What's the call? Timeout. They want to get. He just wants to keep my right. Get new guys on the floor. You're gonna get Leopold out there and get Thomas Moranti. Thomas Moranti's in the game. Thomas Moranti's grandmother, Tony Ann, and grandfather Joe are very good friends of ours, Mike. Oh, how about that? Kathy taught with Tony Ann. We, that's who we saw come in this evening. Okay. I was kind enough not to stop and give him any of my germs. Nice move. <laughs> Now that's Williams for three off the rim. And a rebound to Cam Taylor. That's tipped out of bounds and Highlands will get it. The battering ram is in. I'm going to flip the switch for a minute and 37 and root for Thomas here. How's that sound? You can do that. He is a junior. Played a lot in JV games this evening. This is Pacey. Pacey, Taylor, Timmons. And Dylan Siggs. And inside to Timmons, and it goes off his hands. And a missing one, Myers. That's the five. Ew. Now the drive and the miss that's tipped by Timmons, and Taylor has it for Islands. All of a sudden, JV game broke out, right? Now the Rams throw it back away. Moranti. There's Moranti driving in. He can't get it to go. Boy, the bench wanted it. They did. And here's
here's Pacey back the other way. You know those guys are popular in the uh, varsity one season. Pacey them, dribbled through a minefield, got it underneath to Timmons, who missed the layup. One on four, four up, take the three, Thomas. Come on, you can do it, bud. <laughs> back outside, oh, there's Rosenberg. Look He's out. Begging for it. 45 seconds to go, 70 to 46. At the, your first look at that beautiful Penn Hills gym tomorrow, isn't it? I've never it been there. It is yeah. spectacular. Been a lot of Penn Hills games. We've never Not that, that play. Game. Yeah, we we uh, one previous Highlands game there was a state playoff loss to Mars two years ago. The other wasn't too shabby either, Mike, right? from what we're used to. Eh, <laughs> not as good as this, believe me. It's better than what we're in right now, and this is pretty good. That's impressive. It's nicer than this. Klingensmith now. Going to dribble it out. 15 seconds, and Steve Scorpion is stabbing his team hold the ball, and they're going to walk out of here with a 70-46 to 46 win, in which they were dominant from tip to whistle. And there it is. Well, Mike, that concludes tonight's game with your our inexperienced show tonight, and we're going to have to suck it up and get ready to go tomorrow morning. Quick turnaround for the Golden Rams. Quick turnaround. And us. And us. We will be there. All right, want to wrap it up here tonight. Thanks to Zach Kessler, the AD, here for all his help. And we tell you, once again, that final score, Franklin Regional 70, Highlands 46. For the Dean Mike Choma and Chandler Timmons, this is Mike Pavlik. So long, everybody.